And this, kids, is how you get a safety violation. Welcome, everyone, for another round of Subnautica Below Zero modded. Today, we're going to finish decorating out this base so I have it fully fledged. Everything's all nice and done. And what's left is the living area so we make it look nice for our people staying here. But first, let's address the big issue from last time, which is we had an update. It broke the interaction with QMods, which the first problem was no console with QMods installed. We have that back. There is a beta type experimental one that I downloaded from their GitHub and it works. Gives me my console back, but I'm still missing my sea truck arms, drill and claw arm. I'm also missing my scanner room module that was on there, unfortunately. And this is even following completely wiping those mods out and re-downloading them fresh. It's still not there, but the mods are working because I have the scanner module here and I have the arms here. So the mods are actually working. It's just something with the entities for my existing ones disappeared. So now that I have my console, I can spawn them back in. Well, I am trying to spawn in the items. Spawn C truck uh, scanner module and nothing's spawning in. So the mods are showing it there and console is working. Let's just see spawn titanium and it spawns in some titanium. Long Wid tells the sea tr uh, monkey to bring me some. So I guess I can remake them the claw arm because it was showing the drill arm was still installed for some reason. I didn't hear it pick anything up either. So it's making it. I can't pick it up. So we, there's still an issue with the arms. Well, for now, I'll just go ahead and build today like I was playing to. And, you know, when the time comes, I'll just when everything's working again, I'll use the commands to spawn them back in or I'll just make them again. Since right now, I still can't even make them uh, crafting wise. It just does not want to work with that either. Uh, so we got to get some decor going. We've got to have this place look nice for, yeah, I would think it a couple of people at least. I mean, we've got, well, two chair sets and two table sets. Really six people. We need bunk beds. Oh, I can build on top with the building tweaks. Maybe I can build something on there and then build like the bed on top of that and create a bunk bed. What can we use? Uh, what's not going to be like just obnoxiously bad? Let me do like a we're not going to have ladder for it, but maybe I can make this work. Three shelves. Oh, come on, stop. There we go. That. Oh, man, I did it. Bunk beds. That one's not quite lined up right. There we go. Much better. I cannot believe I've got that to work. I'm going to put them all on one side. I'm stacking two plant pots so I can jump up because now I know I can stack stuff. Very interestingly, with the building tweaks mod. Let's see if we get this done. There we go. Oh, oh, it's still off a little bit. So we've got the bunk beds, sits of them, and they're pretty well lined up. I've got the area for bathroom facilities, because I mean, we're going to need, you know, any showers, any toilet, any stuff like that. So I figure what we'll do is we'll have lockers over here. And I'm out of titanium when I have a broken drill arm mod. Boom. Done. And now for the bathroom, the restroom, the water closet, community showers, whatever you want to call it. We need a place for them to get clean after a hard day's work. And, you know, I really kind of wish these interior partitions could be freely placed a bit more. I'd like to have a partition between them doesn't work so we'll just have to kind of make do we got three showers so that means three people can shower at a time don't be shy come on in just don't drop the soap we need stalls for our toilets and especially you don't want somebody showering on the other side of the room while you're taking a poop this might have to change a bit maybe we'll just do 
this will extend it out and we'll have two sides to it one side for showers which oh i hate doing this like all the way out here to the edge it gives you such a short little hallway makes it feel so cramped like you're like, i'm gonna have to move these over so i either put the wall across here or i put it across here so i guess i might just do it this way leave it nice and open and we'll just have can't do a door can't do a door there okay so i can do a door here that means if i do this i'm gonna have to have a door here can i do a door right no nope can't do that there oh this is not working out Maybe I should have done the beds across that wall. I'm just going to start with two beds so I don't take them all out and start over. So we did Emmanuel's bed, which is a double. Actually, you know, everybody else has a single bed. Let's go with Jeremiah's bed because I did not use that one. That's a single bed that will keep it matching with all the rest. But it's, it's it is so close. Oh, and the, the shelves are not against the wall. Look at that. I didn't notice that. There's a gap on the shelving. And it was working fine there. So something went goofy again. It's doing it again. It's got to be that stupid curve. Got to be a little curve in the wall. It's doing it. I don't know why that curve has to be so problematic. Up to the wall. So I'll just, I'll build from the middle out. It's not the way I was wanting to do it. I wanted to get them a little bit closer to the walls on the side, but at least this way I avoid that weirdness with the corner making stuff stick out. It went all the way back and it lined up. Oh, that is so much easier than trying to jump on some stack planter pots. It does not place all the way to the wall. Why is it still doing that? It's away from the corner. Like, is it just a piece of the wall right here that it says, no, don't place flush against the wall. This does not do that. It is that there's a gap. I see it. I can see it. It's got a gap. Why is this not fixed in full release? It was doing this kind of stuff in early access. Come on now. Oh, that is so close. It really is in the wall, but maybe that will work to my advantage a little bit. It'll be like, oh yeah, it's mounted to the wall because the shelves did not want to work. They did not want to play nice. And I, I can't target that shelf now. Ah. Oh, it went all the way to the back like the shelf was finished. You know what? I'm... Oh, no, no, no. Do not sleep. I can't believe I actually climbed in. <laughs> to that. What happens uh, as you are sleeping? I didn't. Oh, yeah. Stretch with my head against the ceiling. Stick my head up through the roof. Jump down. I did not want to do that. It did different on this spot. That spot actually went flush to the wall. And look at that. I'm lined up the same way. That spot there and that spot there. The shelves are actually touching to the line. And on one side, it sticks out from the wall. The other side, it works perfectly okay. Oh, I cannot believe that is still a thing, actually. Instead of three rooms, three bathroom areas, I'm just going to do two. There's one on each end. If you're lucky, you get the one that is closest to the beds. If it's the middle of the night, you really have to go. A shower with a bench so you can, you know, get undressed. Uh, toilet next to a counter with a sink. We'll do a little decorating around the counter, like, uh, you know, in case somebody thinks you smell bad or you uh, <laughs> did something in the toilet that smells bad. We'll have the little air freshener in here. And for a touch of color, we'll do a plant shelf because, you know, it's going to be humid from the shower. We'll treat it like their little air plant, something that like just feeds off the humidity and that's all it needs. I guess now for the lockers, I'm just going to go side by side along the length of the wall. 
Yeah, like that. I'll just do it that way. Simple, straightforward. Yeah, somebody's got to have their locker close to one of the bathrooms. Uh, but that's okay. They'll deal with it. And I might have to move these around a little bit. Because I don't want too many. Like, let's see. They, there's a little difference in gaps between them two. But I need some titanium. Yes, bring me metal salvage, my monkey minions. Do your jobs. Okay, I don't have enough room for all of these to be flush against the wall. So... It's going to stick out. I really don't want to stick out that much, but I guess I'm going to do exactly what I was doing before. I think I'm just going to do it like here. And there we go. We've got six lockers for six beds. Uh, you know, we got room. Why not create like a, uh, you know, just we'll do like a counter. And actually, I'm thinking, what if I do this in there? Anyway, that's what, where is it? Am I missing? I'm missing the picture frame. I have not got the picture frame yet. I feel like we should have had a mirror option, you know? Because that would be great. Have a little mirror here and you walk up, you see your character. It'd be cool. It, it made sense. I feel like we should have had that. Especially when we got picture frames. And why is that counter sticking out so far? Uh, executive toy. As like a little decoration. Because, you know, entertaining people. Some people might need that white noise while they sleep. Jukebox speakers. Because, you know, they're here. They might want some music upstairs. If somebody forgot their shaving kit in the room. Or they just say that's their bathroom. So, they, you know, they're claiming it. Uh, let's go with... Yeah, sure. We're going to say, uh, you know, we, we got our picture up here. Uh, what is that? No, we'll, we'll do that as like a decorative one along the hallway. Sea Dragon artwork. Actually, that's just artwork. That's not even like... Uh, I can't click it. I can't take it down. I'm sorry. I, I did this. I'm sorry I put the poster somewhere you didn't want it to be. An aquarium along the wall here. So they have a nice little section there kind of filled in. Wall planter. Because, you know, I've got the option for that uh, right there. I could actually do it right there, too. But I do like the idea of having the aquarium. I, I could take that out to the aquarium on that side. But we'll have a green, vibrant looking. I have another one right here. And then we'll just you know, take this out or not. Once again, uh, misplaced wall art that cannot be removed wonderful okay <laughs> so i don't know what i could have built that would be affecting both of those in that spot but fine we'll just build in front of it there we go it's, just, it's gonna be right there attacking the uh the fish we'll just do one on each side instead of like in the corner we'll just kind of frame the uh grow beds a bit and yeah, okay that should be the right distance there gives it a little separation yeah so let's do the larger ones on the outside there we go you know feel like a quick snack on your way down or you just got out of the shower or off the toilet grab a little snack on the way just because i want to try this to see how it looks oh yeah let's go we'll go with that i'm gonna do It'll be a good test to see how well it grows in a stacked planter pot. This actually worked. We have a double stacked planter pot and it grew perfectly normal on the second one, which actually gives a pretty nice look to it, I would say. So yeah, the uh, room is done. It looks pretty good. I'm very pleased with how the bunk beds turned out. Didn't know I could make that happen, but I made it happen. And of course, that's with the Building Tweaks mod, which at this moment is not available on Nexus mods, but as soon as a new place has it available, as a consistent place, I'll update the links to reflect that. Uh, but right now, is you know, you hopefully can find an old copy somewhere, but I don't have a dedicated link for that. But again, the base is done. I am satisfied with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and call it for today. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think 
is best about this new setup? It, do you like the bunk beds? Do you like the stacked planter pots? What is it about this new living quarters room that you like best? Leave it in a comment below. And of course, as always, I'm your host, Mr. Spicy. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you next time.